Um, okay, so let's do same kind of thing, just for basic umbrella setup now, because well, these are kind of like the basically two, the one three one. Yeah, one yeah, three basically, one. Basically, yeah. yeah. So, you got so these are th this is like the two main setups that you'll see on power plays is the overload and the umbrella. So I kind of want to do the same thing. Start with the setup, and then we can just talk about uh, the same idea of like what is the movement paths of each player um, in the setup kind of thing. Yeah, like it, it's it's really, I mean. This is kind of your shooter quarterback guy. So if he has the puck, like he's creating options, like those are your options or shots. This guy's looking at tips or if it comes down here, he just pops out and this guy will come down low or it's a pass option here, right? You have, depending on your puck movement, it could be across ice, but the, the bottom line is you're just using this guy a little bit more as a decoy or a, as a pa pass option or a high tip. And... I mean, I don't really know what else to say. You're you're popping out for pass options, or you're getting like this guy's popping out for pass options, or he's popping out like if there's work down low, he one of these guys are going to pop out for pass options, or you're looking for tips from the side of the net. That's that's basically that. So so okay, go back to clean setup. I want to do the same thing that you did with the overload setup, though. So if I'm the if I'm the D and we're talking about we need guys to move, um, if I'm the D at the top and then for each of the other guys, what is their range of where they're covering? Like what range of ice oh, okay. are they covering, so, so right? Hound dog. That means what I mean by that is you're hounding pucks. It, it, and anybody can be hounding the pucks. Like any of these three guys can go be hounding pucks. But like if something comes up in this area, You've got your D doing the same thing. So you're just forechecking. Like F, whoever's first and second on the puck, you're working it. That's so he's covering that's like just the bottom corner line. Corner is yeah. that guy. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So and, and like I mean, if you carry the puck this way, there's just not really a lot of switches. This guy would just pop out and be an option or whatever. Um the D would be taking anything in this area, right? Anything. Uh this was I mean, you're this guy's forechecking if he has to, loose pucks here, like just whatever makes sense. I don't. I don't know if that's an answer. Well, no, not really. So okay. So just, tell me what you're thinking again. because yeah, do it again. So yeah. just do go clean setup again. Yeah. So my my question is more like because guy, like I said, guys don't know where to move. So this was one thing. I'll draw it on this one. This yeah, was one thing you that. This was one thing can, that. Can you see? I'll put it back when I'm done because okay. I'll leave it on my face right now. So this is one thing that I had issues with my guys is that they didn't know where they were allowed to go okay. on the ice. So. When I finish drawing these arrows, it'll make more sense. Yeah. And and again, this is not nice drawing you got there, brother. Right. Yeah. Look My mind wasn't working that multi way. Multi arrows. So if I put this back now, so this is something that our guys were struggling with because um they didn't they didn't know what the limits were and and these lines that I've drawn are not like you don't have to be glued to these lines but just as a base to start with. So I have. The defenseman here, he can go, like you said, wall to wall to start, right? This guy on the flank and same on the other flank, they can go all the way down and all the way up to the blue line freely. There's no limit on where they can go, which is what you said, just without drawing the arrows. Yeah, without making it chicken scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Net front guy, corner to corner, just like you said. And then this bumper guy can go anywhere he wants, kind of in this area. If there's a switch, there's a switch. If you have to go hound pucks, you have to go hound pucks. If we need three or four guys in the corner to go get it, then you have to do that. Um, but in general, this is the freedom that you have depending on where your position is on the power play. You can cover all of this ice. And the reason that this is important is because, again, you don't just have to stand there. And that's the biggest problem that I see is like, for example, um, when you were talking about the overload, if this guy passes up to the defenseman, defenseman goes to take a shot, this guy won't come down. He'll like stay there because he thinks I need to stay here, you know? And it's like, no, you can move. You can come into the net now. And so it's important that guys know that you don't have to stay glued to your spot just because it's a, it's a power play, you know? So that's why I wanted to just outline that movement, same as we did, uh, as you did with the overload situation um, from the umbrella. So.